Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, the possibility of editing footage without a PC at all, just a tablet. So this is game uh, console. Did I, what did I say in the beginning? But anyways, this is console footage being edited on a Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, no PC involved. Uh, the capture device is an HD PVR rocket uh, that offers PC free mode so if you wanted to basically if you didn't have much that you do with your PC except editing videos things that you could do on your tablet normally like you know checking emails now it is possible to edit your your gameplay footage on your tablet if you just didn't want a, a PC anymore because it was just taking up space uh, you know, where you might have been putting your Sibian. Uh, here we go. We have an OTG cable. I have recorded my footage with the HD PVR rocket. It is on this crappy thumb drive. Um, so what we're going to do, plug that in. Now my tablet has root and stick mount. Uh, I believe Nexus, I don't know if Nexus Media Importer works for that, uh, but for me, the root with the, um, you know, OTG cable and thumb drive. See, it works fine. All right, so here we have, we're going to open up VidTrim Pro. And our gameplay is on here. I have two different gameplays I can show you. One of them is Trine 2, the complete story. Uh, that's from the PS3 game DVR. So you can edit these uh, the game DVR footage on your tablet if you like. Uh, PS4 has built in um, their uh, built in editing software, but it's here if you want. You could also use your tablet to upload that footage to YouTube uh, the same way I have it here with the OTG cable and everything. Um, so here I have a video and it shows white. It also says that there is no um, Basically, it has no length. Zero, zero. And when I bring it up, it shows that this is a Wii U video. Okay? So in order for this to actually be able to fully read this, I can convert this video file to something that the Nexus 7 can read. Because if I try to trim it, it'll say, sorry, can't play this video. But, like I said, snatch up the video file. You can rename it if it makes, you, makes it easier for you to uh, understand what you're, what gameplay you're selecting. But for me, I, I know what it is. So I'm going to hit convert. That little settings thing, for some reason, is the conversion part. Now this was recorded in 1080p, so I'm going to keep it at 1080p. The game natively is 720p, I believe. I've set the quality to high, and then uh, everything else I think is, yeah, stays the same and then I'm going to hit transcode. That will convert the video file into something the Nexus 7 can read and then I will be able to edit the video footage. Now this is going to take a little while but it's possible and I will be right back once this is done. Okay so now we have finished transcoding our video file and uh, I believe, I don't know if I told you it's uh, Mario 3D uh, World on the Wii U, so we will pull up the video file. This is the transcoded version. Now if you want, you can trim the video file. That won't take very long. So you see we got a lot of fat in here to trim. So we just drag this to where I want to be. La la la, I did a lot of stuff. I don't want this in here, because that takes forever. And it's the usual. Oh my god, we stole one of your friends. It's a lot of stuff to edit out. Okay, so we just want to go with World 1. And now I want to end it at stage clear. And then we can trim that. I'm going to trim the original clip. If you don't want to lose the original clip, you can hit Save as New Clip. I'm going to just go and overwrite the existing clip. So that's going to that's gonna be very fast. That's just copying that portion of the clip. So you're not losing any quality by doing that. Transcoding, you will lose quality. 
but actually just trimming it, you won't really lose anything. So, boom. Now, I'm going to select that again. And that should come up. Hmm. I'm not sure how to play. Let me just hit trim just so I can. Okay, that was correct. Cool. All right. So now, um, you can add effects. Um, not sure about commentary. You may be able to record, huh? Commentary, I'm not sure about. Like I said, yeah. So you see, these are the effects here. Uh, you can. This is the original, of course. You can make it black and white, um, like this. It's very rough. <laughs> uh, vintage, so you can make it look old. Um, do whatever that is. Yeah, you make it like that. There's there's a few things, but I think yeah, you can add sharpness to it. So you can raise and lower the sharpness of the video file. So if you think it's too blurry, you can raise the sharpness. You could go wild and put it all the way up and make it look like shit. Um, you know. You can drag it back. Um, you could blur it. Swap UV will do this. Um, I don't know what drag, dragging this. Uh, yeah, you can have edge detect. You know, so it'll look like almost like a pencil drawing thing with whatever. Um, you can lower that effect. Lower it even more. And from then you can basically transcode it again. Only hit, only hit save. And yeah, it'll give you export options so you can select, you know, the usual 1080p, uh, high. So then you could actually edit that. I'm not going to do that because this footage um, is, um, I, I don't need, I don't feel like doing anything else to the footage. It, it's just straight, to me it's straight gameplay. But what you can also do is we have the YouTube app on here. So if you go to your channel, I'm going to go to my gameplay channel. I'm also going to scratch the crap out of my leg. All right. Now I'm going to go, no, I don't want that crap. Wendy, is that like the, the burger chick? All right, so I'm going to select my channel here. This is my gaming channel. And if I go to uploads, we have that. And I will upload the video that I have here. And uh, we see there. That's the video. And now I'm going to name it, uh, I don't know, Nexus 7 Nintendo gameplay thing. In fact, actually, you know what? I won't even name it for now. I'll just give it some thought. I'm going to put it on my channel. For now, I'll just, you know, this is what I normally do when I'm not sure. There you go. And then keep it in private. I'll think about it. Hit upload. And then here we are, uploading the footage, and that's, you know, editing and stuff like that with uh, Android uh, Nexus 7. Now, if you have a, uh iPad or something, I believe you can do a lot more with video editing there, but that's, that's some of what you can do. Um, I don't know of every single video editor on Android, but that's, this is the one I use. It's fairly simple. I mostly just, you know, do straight gameplay. Um... Not sure about, you may want to look up commentary stuff, but uh, I'm not sure about that. So commentary may be, although if you have an HD PVR rocket, you can do commentary straight from the, uh, the machine. So you shouldn't need to have that, that, uh, that uh, luxury because it's already built into the rocket. Now, if you have something else like, uh, what's that other one? The um, one I bought that was broken. Um... It's another popular one, and I can't think of it. It's actually a lot more popular, but it only does 720p, and it doesn't have commentary. Uh, I forgot. I bought it, and it was broken. <laughs> That's all I remember, but that one doesn't do commentary, so you may need something else um, to get your commentary onto your video. 
if you only have an Android tablet. Then you can get your Sibian in the house and you can ride it and have fun, release your stress levels and, you know, annoy the neighbors when they hear, Oh my God! Luckily, I don't have any neighbors right now. Yeah, they're fixing the upstairs from the crazy guy that used to live upstairs uh, for the new, new guys. Apparently, it was quite bad. Anyways, so that's my video, and uh, have a nice day, and thank you for watching.